Welcome to Printahead, a simple project from photo to color 3D statue. Start with a photo and in a few minutes you're ready to upload a full color statue to Shapeway.com for printing. Once the project is uploaded, preview the statue and see pricing info for printing it. So let's get started. We launch Printahead. The first thing you see is a Teach panel. These panels appear automatically before each step to teach you what to do next. There's even a video link at the bottom to show you the steps. In the selection dialog, you select a photo, create a project name, and either create or assign a project folder. Click Apply. The next dialog to appear is the Setup dialog. Notice that the picture is auto-rotated upright and eyes and mouth are auto-selected. You can still manually drag and adjust the dots if needed. Choose between male, female, or child and click Next. Now the work area opens. With the photo on the left and the 3D head on the right, click on Auto Dots. Green and blue dots appear. Blue dots are group dots that select groups of dots. Green dots are individual dots that move on their own. When clicking on the blue dot on the forehead, you can see the head shaped dot selected and a bounding box around them which you can adjust by moving the corners. The objective is to get the dots inside the contours of the face. Unclicking will transfer the texture to the Clicking the Autobots button again, you can now fine adjust the texture for the mouth and nose. Drag single dots to the corner of the mouth and see how it changes the texture on the right. If you shift click on the two dots on the nostrils, they can move together. Shape dots work similar to auto dots, except they change shape rather than the texture. Here with shape dots, you can shape the corners of the mouth and also make the nose a little wider. While you now have a certain likeness of the face, the kid appears way too young. The next tab named Features tab will fix this. Sliding the age slider to the right will age the head. This looks better. Now you move to the next tab, the Style tab, which will let you add hair to the statue. Select and drag a hair selection from the library over to the 3D head on the right. Selecting the hair, you can even adjust the length using the slider in the library box. The next tab is the Accessories tab. Here you select the female base and drag it to the right to add a neck and base to the statue. You can adjust and size it if needed and then rotate the head around to see if it fits. In the color tab, you will highlight the hair and assign a hair color by double clicking on one of the hair textures in the library. Now you select a neck and using the color picker tool, sample a color for the neck. Clicking the pick solid color button, the color is assigned to the neck and base. Notice that there are some remnant hair textures sticking out from under the new hairstyle. To retouch these, first you open the parts library from the edit menu and uncheck the part boxes to hide the hair and neck. 
To retouch these, first open the parts library from the edit menu and uncheck the part boxes to hide the hair and neck. Now you are free to pick a color on the forehead. Assign opacity to 7 and pick a large brush, maybe 2 or 300. A quick touch will paint over the texture. If not happy, use the undo button to try again. Finally, revisit Edit Parts Library to check back on the visibility for hair and neck. You've made it to the last tab, the Stage tab. Here you can visualize the statue by placing it on top of a mantelpiece and select the appropriate size from 3 inches up to 9 inches. It's a good idea also to rotate the head to check for problems. Printing is easy. If you want black and white, click on the 3D print button for color prints on the color 3D prints. Clicking on these buttons, you will browse for your project folder and assign. The application will even launch shapeways.com as a convenience for you to upload your print-ready statue.